Welcome, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be learning how to create a custom connector in Microsoft Power Automate. And this is super cool because it's going to teach us how to create a connection to any service out there. Example, LinkedIn, Instagram, Spotify, uh, Skyscanner, whatever API is out there, we can create a custom connector and create actions for it and interact with it really fast. So let's get into it immediately. To create a custom connector, once you log into your Power Automate uh, portal, you go down to Data, Custom Connector. Now I have already created a custom connector to be sure that this video is going to be a success. From the left. There are different options to create a custom connector see the other options which are also very straightforward and very fast to do in later videos so we will call it Spotify connector tool all right uh, we have four different steps that we need to fill out to get our connector working so the first thing is we can change the uh, the icon of our connector to make it easy to recognize. So uh, one thing uh, to keep in mind when creating a connector, it's good to have a website uh, that has good documentation, good API documentation. So for example, the Spotify website has very good documentation and it's ideal uh, it's ideal to start quickly and not going not having a lot of mistakes and problems so let's start filling out some information that we need so for the host we need api.spotify.com and the base url so before continuing and filling out the remaining information, we have to create an app on Spotify. So this app uh, is going to allow us to create a security key. And with the security key, we can then connect from Power Automate to uh, Spotify, retrieve information, update information, and do all the different operations that we want to automate. So let's, uh, once you have logged in, uh, into your Spotify for developers page, you will need to create a new app. So let's get, give this app a name and let's create the app. Perfect. Now we have, by the way, I will be deleting this information and this app after this video. So there is really no need in trying to get this, um, my client ID and the client secret. Um, all right, now that we have created our app let's go back into power automate and finish up the settings and the configuration all right with the app created we can continue to the security settings now uh, api spotify.com i have gotten this information from the documentation in uh, at spotify so every app is going to be different there is really no point in showing you where to get this this detail. So the kind of authentication that uh, Spotify uses is authentication 2.00 OAuth. Um, again, every app might use a different a different authentication method. So I will not be getting into the details of the different methods. So for Spotify, it's just is just OAuth 2.0. Now let's get the different key IDs that we have created. So the client ID. Let's paste the client ID here and the client secret. Now the client secret, the authorization URL, the token URL. Now, uh, just to give you an idea of how this would work, uh, we would find we would find the uh, we will find the URLs that we need right here. So this is, for example, the token one. The refresh URL is uh, the same as the token one. And the authorization URL is 
is just authorize. Now I remember this from doing it before, but again you will find this information inside of the uh, Spotify inside of the Spotify app. One thing that we are missing still before creating the uh, having the redirect URL is the scope. So the scope is the authorization on Spotify. Uh, to give you an idea on how to get the how to get the scopes, you can just search for scope and this will basically allow your app different different activities and these are the different scopes that you can add now with the scope with the scope we can paste the scope here and with all of this information going over it once again the client id that we got from the spotify app the client secret from the spotify app uh, the authorization url you would find this usually in the documentation of the api and the scope which is uh, the rights the access rights that flow is going to have with the spotify api now once all of this is done let's create a connector now now that this is done we can see that we have received an uh, a link has been gen gen generated for us automatically however uh, there is still no connection between power automate and spotify why because we need to still do one last piece of the puzzle so we need to go back to the dashboard we need to sign into our account go into the app that we created inside of added settings we need to add the redirect url so this is the url that power automate will be using to communicate with with spotify now this is now that we have added this we can go back to Power Automate and finish the setup of our custom connection. Now let's create a uh, let's create a new action inside of our connector. So, for example, get the playlist, change song, go to next song, like this song, get the title of this song. So let's create maybe one or two actions and set up one or two actions with our connector. So the first one is going to be get playlist playlist and description uh, uh, operation id this is a unique id that you can set up uh, you can set up anything just make sure that you remember it later on uh, so the next thing that we have to do is we need to uh, define we need to create our uh, our response so what we're going to do is we're going to use a get request we're going to connect to a spotify uh, URL and we're gonna pull the information from the Spotify URL and display it in Power Automate. Now in in uh, Spotify to do this you would go to uh, Docs, you would go to Web API References and here you have the different things that you could uh, you could use the API for. So in our case we are going to use the playlist and we are going to let's use this one so this is going to retrieve all of the playlist that a specific user has when we go back to power automate we would put this header right here and click on import now we have imported the uh, the connection now the next thing that we have to do is we have to test our connection so this is pretty much pretty much everything that needed to be done so let's test and see if it's working and now that we uh, when we hit a new connection we get this official spotify sign up uh, flow app 2 uh, this is the app that we created and we need to grant it permission to connect with power automate we are able to create the connection to our uh, to Spotify. All right, now we can test our uh, we can test our code, our connection. So we created a uh, connection that is going to get the playlist of the current user that is currently listening to uh, to Spotify. So we made the request. Now let's see what we got in response. 
so all right well this is one of this is one of the uh, playlists that i have and this is another one so we have uh, we managed to retrieve all of the playlists of the current user now how to explore this and to take this a step further would be just to create different more actions and also this will also give you the chance to work with the different uh, the different components or the different elements that you retrieve from the spotify from the spotify uh, api so let's just go back for a second into the uh, custom connectors so this is how you can create a custom connector uh, you can after the, after you've created your custom connector you can use it inside of your flows to you see that in another video we will use our connector that we have created to create a mission but in today's video you have learned how to create a custom con connector that connects to the spotify api i really hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed give me a thumbs up subscribe do the usual stuff thank you so much for watching